holy crap, I did it, guys. You guys want commentary with music? You got it. This is attempt 23,878. I have done 120 early hammer manipulations. And this is during my subathon. And the timer in the bottom right is how long I have left to stream for. My best summoning saw impression until this happened. And then he jumped over the orb. All right. So we don't go for tunnel anymore in early hammer manipulation because as long as I get to world two before my audio cues, then I can time jump for two one and I'm okay. So this run, I'm extremely surprised world record. Like unbelievably surprised. We have everything to thank to again, world seven as always. I feel like the run is more based around world seven working than world eight working to be honest with you i had more runs get to world seven and fail than i did have more runs get to the hands and get no hands that's a thing you're supposed to fight the star bro it's on a lot of people ask me can you avoid it that star bro is impossible to avoid yeah we got a slow-mo bowser's castle there i'm telling you right now guys i'm telling you right now bowser's castle was 100 percent instincts of like reaction no I'm, I'm gonna be done warpless for a bit just work on 100 percent. okay so we, we listen to a click track and we have to enter 2-1 at a very specific time here. Um, and if we enter at the right time and then listen to the click track when hitting this card, I will get very specific Hammer Brother movements that will allow me to get an item early in this world. And by getting that item early, I can break the rock and skip three levels in this world, but I have to play one extra level in world four. So it's like I'm skipping two levels. If I don't skip the three levels in this world, then I get to skip the one level in world four. You see how that works? So I got the correct movement there. Do you guys know what this means? Now that I'm done early hammer manipulation, I can actually swap out my OSSC to my retro tank five. Finally, I've had it for like a month now. But I didn't want to change to my retro tank because I didn't know if it would mess with my delay. So I apply the same concept to 2-2 here. What you're looking for is the Hammer Brother to walk over the Mushroom House. And he walked over the Mushroom House. Now I have to do the same thing in the Fortress. Some of you might be asking, why is he slowing down in these levels and not going fast? It's so that I don't create any lag frames. We don't want to create any lag frames in these levels. Dude, the run got so serious when I... When I got no hands, holy crap. I All I could think on the airship, guys, on on the Air Force, all I was thinking to myself was like, just breathe, man. Just breathe. You've done this hundreds of times. Just breathe, man. You got this. So if everything works out, this happens. Both Hammer Brothers come over. I get the hammer item. So we try and use the click track here to avoid getting the music box in this world. And I don't think it did not work, right? I said just breathe out loud. Dude, I have no recollection. Once I got no hands, that was it. Also, I could have saved time by not using stars in World 8. I shouldn't have used stars, but I was not chancing it. See, this is what separates like really good speedrunners from good speedrunners that don't clutch things out. And I know that's harsh to say, but that's, a, that's an actual reality behind speedruns. I didn't get greedy in this run when I got no hands. I had two stars, so I knew I could use one in 8-1 and 8-fort and de-stress myself a little bit and shit like that is very important in speedruns you have to you have to sometimes not be greedy right like i got no hands world record i had the time to waste a little bit to de-stress and kind of clutch out the run that we've been waiting for for like four months yo the best thing about watch parties guys fast forward don't gotta watch this that last fireball in bowser's castle dude i cannot wait to go back and watch it i was supposed to take damage all right, here we go. So World 3, World 3 worked fine. No, actually, I think I got bad Hammer Brothers in World 3. I think I got both water battles. We got the hat on, true commentary style. Nice, this peace speed strategy is very, very annoying because some days you wake up and you just don't get it. It's really cringe, man. You run slower on water battles or what is the difference? When I do the water battle, watch the Hammer Brothers when they die. The chest will appear after everything's off the screen, but when there's a water battle, the Hammer Brothers will float in the water and slowly go off screen rather than just falling off screen normal. So it takes longer for the chest to appear. Yeah, you'll see it after this next level. I got two water battles here, unfortunately. I messed up six for one didn't i i almost got nipped by the i i like clipped into the side didn't i 
This is gonna be a great world three to go up against. Big time save in this world. You see that? We do another water battle here. You guys, you'll be able to see. Watch the Hammer Brothers after they die. Yeah, see that? See how they float in the water? Water battles are not that bad, though. It's better to fight the water battle here, get low pattern, and then get one less movement after level four and extra map movements. I've, I've, I've come to notice. So this run is very strange with Hammer Brothers. I got the music box in world three, got a star in world four, didn't fight, didn't use the music box in world four and skipped the music box in world five. So I still only got one, and it's so weird. Yeah, this is, this 15 seconds is the biggest warpless improvement since the 5039. Does anyone remember? I went from a 5055 to a 5039, didn't I? Or did I hit? No, I think I got 5049 first. I don't know. But 15 seconds is one of the biggest improvements in the last like five years of this category, that's for sure. Oh, we're talking about cutting off your fingers. The shit we talk about, guys. All right, fast forward. I love rewatching runs. We just fast forward the auto scroller. Boom. We lost three seconds in that world. Damn, dude. Right. P speed work nicely. Thank you. So this is where the run, the run is still alive right now, but in my mind, I'm like, okay, it's not 49, obviously. We're only in heavy red because we got the music box. Look at that. Yeah, nice movement of four. We're only heavy in the red because we got the music box in world two instead of in world five. You see, it's, it's either or. Either you get the music box in world two and you lose time early, or you save time early and get the music box in World 5, right? It's it's one or the other. That's why you see me in red in World 2 and sometimes not in red, right? So I get the Hammer Brother that I wanted, and I got two movements of four, which is really annoying. And then I, see, I fight the extra row, which is awful. But now, I don't use the music box here, and I skip the music box in World 5. So it's like... Did I get an extra bro or no? That was very clean, yes. Uh, so far, my mistakes are, I missed going in the pipe in 3-3, which wasn't too bad. I think my breakfast was just brought, wasn't it? It was my breakfast, always during runs. So I want to skip this hammer brother by not using the music box, but it's still a time loss, right? So I saved the P-Wing, what are the odds, guys? I didn't have to wall jump and I got the world record. What a surprise. Just for your guys' punishment, I should force us to watch this auto scroller. Ads won't protect you here, guys. All right, I'll spare you guys. All right, world five. So, because I didn't use the music box, I still have two music boxes, which means. I can't get a music box in this because then I have too many music boxes. So I actually had to take this route. Mario 3 Warpless is crazy on the fly with crap all the time. You're constantly changing. My inventory is different right now than, than what it normally is. Very different. No, we're not going to do a double reaction. My inventory is different. Nice slides, nice slides. Look at the speed. Boom, first frame into the pipe. First pixel, I guess. So because my inventory scuffed, this inventory could have been better because the, the music box is one input to the left and I did three inputs to the right. So I could save time there. So I have the extra star, so I go, I save one second here with it by not having to worry about these guys. I have two extra stars because I got the extra star from World 4 and now I'm not using a star in 5-7, in which I normally do. Salty Kitty, thank you very much for the five. I really appreciate that. Very nice, very nice. So we have to skip this Hammer Brother because we still have a music box. We only need one music box at this point and that's for World 7. Put the Piranha Plant stage to sleep which has been the strategy in Warpless for like, I don't even know how long. It's been so long. It's unfortunate that it gives you a mushroom. Like if it gave you a cloud, that would be incredible. I don't know what compelled Nintendo to give 
that piranha plant a mushroom. It just makes no sense. Nice. I get to do stress-free 5-5. Five five. Ah, stress-free 5-5. Five five. It feels so good, man. It feels so good. So now I have to change up 5-7 because I'm not using a star, which means I don't run through the pile drivers anymore. There was a world record, yes. We're watching it right now. Summoning Ben, Tang, and Ju- No, they've done enough. All right, we avoided that hammer, brother. That's exactly what we needed. Unfortunately, we got the movement of three here. Uh, so we can fast forward it. We had to lose time right here because of it. But we still, I think we still saved time in this world, yeah. Whoa, I almost ran right into him. Yeah, we could save a lot more time in this world. So world six, like always, we have to avoid this bro. The sub discount is for my timer right now. Right now, each sub is increasing by three minutes instead of my normal two minutes. But that's ending in like one minute. Then it's back to normal. Uh, you do small jumps before entering pipe to preserve your P-speed on the other side. Oh, yeah, right there, dude. Holy crap. So close. World 6 is going to be hard to... I'm always going to lose time in World 6 because I had the P-Wing here. On a normal run, I won't have a P-Wing. No, I have more than... I have 40 hours to go. All right, we've got to move into 4, so we can save time there. We can save time here. That's a little slower than normal. Not much, though. Nice. And we only got a couple extra movements to 2. We got... I think he moves down, up, left, down. I think that's what he does. All right, subs are back to normal, guys. Thank you very much. The sale is over. The sale will come back soon, though. And uh, I'll definitely give Destiny a little bit more notice than eight, you know, eight in the morning. All right, yeah, so he goes down. I think he goes back up, and then he goes left and then down. So only, only two extra movements to two here unneeded, but we also got a movement of four. I thought you were sleeping because I saw you do words on stream earlier. All right, so now because I have the P-Wing, I don't have to take damage. And the only reason I have the P-Wing is because I didn't use the music box in World 4. By not using the music box in World 4, I didn't need to get the extra music box in 5-1. So I keep the P-Wing and keep Fire Flower for 5-1. Weird stuff. That also inadvertently lets me to use one extra star and not have to use another star. Crazy stuff. So I don't take damage in that level because it's a waste of time I'm equipping a P-Wing. Normally you take damage because you want to be small Mario for the wall jump, but in this case, not wall jumping, so. Isn't this game crazy, dude? All the time, things, things are different, all the time. So we tried here, guys, we tried to go for the clip, but it was like, it wasn't a good attempt. Yeah, that was an okay attempt. All right, so that was world six. Our sub pixel manipulation went great. Let me slow it down for you guys so you guys can like truly watch. You can truly watch me move one pixel to the left. Watch me move one pixel to the left here. I didn't move, I just turned. There it is, right there. You see that one turn? Right there, beautiful. Beautiful sub pixel manipulation. All right, world seven. Boom. I'm telling you guys, Warpless is all about 7-1 and 7-6, not the hands. Not the hands. I was actually thinking about using my star instead of doing Fast 7-2, but I said, you know what? Fuck it. Fast 7-2, baby. Uh, n n well, no. After I get 7-6, then I realized I could get World Record. That's when I knew I could get World Record. No pipe to pipe again? True, but I didn't bonk on the overworld. I don't think I bonked once on the overworld in this run, did I? I don't think so. All right, so we move one pixel to the right, and then we move a little bit. There you go, nice. Go for the next manipulation. The saves in this run, though, disgusting. This is the first change your underpants mistake in the run, right here. The first change your underpants mistake. But I fixed it because I've made the mistake a couple times now, I know what to do. So right here. I'm supposed to duck, but then I turn back, jump, slide right in, we go! Wow. We saved it. Oh my God, guys. My heart is racing after that. Well, this wasn't the perfect World 7. I mean, that mistake right there cost me a couple seconds. That was a nail biter moment. That was way too much for me. I'm super nervous because I'm on the brink of like, all I need is hands now, which is 
that's what that you want every run to be based on the hands, right? Every run you want to get to the hands, but Mario 3 says no. Oh man. Gosh. Oh my god, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Look at this. We almost didn't kill the dry bones. If we didn't kill the dry bones, I would have lost like 10 seconds. Watch this. Watch the hammers, watch the hammers. Look at them. At this point, you'd be like, oh shit, he's not gonna hit it. Just hit it. Oh my god, dude. Just hit the hammer, brother. And we got the we got the quick kill. Oh man, just down to the hands now. I, I already knew I was losing time because of compared to my previous World 7. So we lost three seconds. That makes sense, yeah. Okay, boomerang bro, move forward, unfortunately. All right. I'm gonna be just as nervous watching these no hands. I'm so nervous right now. Yeah, that feels good, baby. <laughs> it's very possible that you get so nervous sometimes in runs that you start to see stars, AKA almost pass out. Like the anticipation to get no hands at this point is fucking ridiculous. It's like four months of trying to get no hands, you finally get no hands, and the pressure is just so unbelievably high. It's... Explaining it just does not do justice. Alright, so I lose a bit of time here because I used a star, but that's okay. Worth it. Good thing I didn't use a warp whistle. One extra turn back there because I was scared. Now I'm back on, now I'm back in action. It's anxiety, I'm not having anxiety right now, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, it's not, I'm, I'm not, it's not anxiety, unless anxiety and nervousness is the same thing, but I didn't think they were. Yo, we did it! So I didn't need to use a star here, but not the end of the world. And then we slice. Nice, got a good jump here. I was very, very happy to see that I got P-Speed here. That made me very happy. It's a big deal getting P-Speed here. And like I said, we made history. The first run, the first RTA run in Mario 3 history to make it to the last tank in under 48 minutes. Yep, 47.58. Unbelievable. All right, this fireball. I need to see this fireball. Dude, I told you guys. That is disgusting, dude. I should have lost it there. It's so weird. I even did a turn back. Your crime is recorded. We all witnessed it. One pixel away. I'm so nervous. Holy shit. That was it. That was it. This is how close I was to losing the record. Last Bowser's fireball on this run was this. Look at this. Guys, it doesn't get any closer than that. I'm pretty sure that's one pixel off. What an absolute bonkers run, guys. A 50-10, guys, we're 10 seconds away. Oh my God. I'm just so, I'm so zonked right now. 